The intros for each Ninjago season are some of the most talked about things in the Ninjago community. Every intro for the most part offers something very different and unique from the last, all having something that makes them stand out among the rest. For example, the season 5 animation is known for incorporating a cartoony style, while the season 8 one is mainly known for not using a rendition of the Weekend Whip. This is why today we are going to be ranking each and every single Ninjago intro from worst to best to ultimately determine which is my personal favourite Ninjago intro. Before I hop straight into the list, I have a few things to say. Number one, I will not be including intros from things like Day of the Departed, Decoded, just because they aren't really proper seasons and I want this list to be more just the intros from the main seasons. Lastly, a uh, shameless plug, I do have a Ninjago Discord server, so if you want to talk to me and a lot of other really great people, there will be a link at the very top of the description, so make sure all of you go and join that, it would be much appreciated. Coming in right at the very bottom of the list is going to have to be the Season 12 intro. This one's a pretty interesting case. It's basically the exact same as the Season 11 intro, just switched up a bit more to fit with the gaming theme. So we have different arcade cabinets going around the place, and then the screen focuses on the arcade screen, and it shows us a small clip from the previous episode. So yeah, it's a very similar concept to what Season 11 was, but honestly, after rewatching both of these intros, I just dislike this one a bit more. It's nothing terrible, but it just isn't really good either, if we're being completely honest. Honest. I feel like it's just a bit bland and it could have been a much better. Next is the season 11 intro. This was the first intro we received in this new format, if you will. And so what they did was, was merge the previously on Ninjago section with the intro itself. I really do enjoy the concept actually, but the way it's executed just wasn't the best. The actual clips previous episodes are way too short and you can barely even take in what's happening. The one thing that really makes this intro pretty good though would have to be the animation and the music. Those two things are great. Aside from that though, yeah, it just isn't the best intro ever. There's definitely a lot of much better ones out there. The season 14 intro, or to be 100% correct I guess we should say the island intro, as with the last few intros, it just lacks uniqueness in my opinion. These soulless intros that just recap previous events can only be so good, and while I think this one's solid for what it's trying to be, when you look at the grand scheme of things when it comes to Ninjago intros, this one really just doesn't hold up in my opinion. If we are rating it just in terms of the animation, then maybe this one would be in a complete different spot, as that's what really carried this intro for me. But yeah, overall, I'm just not really the biggest fan of this one, and that's all I really can say about it. Damn, it almost just feels like they're being ranked in order at this point. Next is the Season 15 intro, or the C-Band intro. You know what I'm talking about, call it whatever you want. But this is a cut above the rest that we've already mentioned to me. I'm a fan of the calm, almost soothing music they went for with this one, and I do like how it recaps the previous episode, while slowly panning out and going slowly deeper and deeper underwater. Cool concept, solid execution. Coming straight up next, we have the Season 13 intro actually, and I do remember that not too many people liked this one at first, and while I too was slightly wary about it, in a matter of days it quickly did grow on me, and I'm happy to say that this one is my favourite Wild Brain Era Ninjago intro. Yeah sure it might have its problems here and there, some recaps are a bit too slow while some are too fast, but overall I think it is really really solid. And on top of all of this, the music makes it even better. And to be fair, I think this is really the best you can get with these Wild Brain Ninjago intros. The Season 8 intro is up next, and I'll say now, I thought this one was just... satisfying for what it was. Was it a bit underwhelming when compared to basically every other intro before that? Yeah, definitely. Was it still pretty good in its own way? Again, yeah, definitely. Whether you love this one or if you hate it, I don't think you can deny the fact that the animation was actually really good, and that's really the standout part about this intro to me, honestly. I do like the direction they took with this one, it did help fit the mature tone of the season a lot better than any other intro would, so I like it for that reason 100%, but I still don't think it's really anything that great, and nothing worth praising too much. 
Season 9 is up next, and I think this one is disgustingly overrated. As with the Season 8 intro, sure, I think it's pretty good, and it definitely has some good parts about it. I also like what it symbolises, but brushing that aside, to be honest, I'm just not a fan of it overall. It comes off as a bit, uh, weird to me, I guess. That's the easiest way of putting it. Overall, I can't quite put my finger on why exactly I don't like this intro much, but there is just something about it that I really just take a disliking to. I've tried to warm up to it in the past, but yeah, that just isn't happening. And to this day, I'm still not the biggest fan of it. It's solid, but I wouldn't say it's anything better than that, really. The season 3 intro is up next, and starting with this one, these next ones are all going to be the ones I think are either pretty good or great, so do keep that in mind. With this one, I think it's actually pretty good, and if anything, I almost think this one gets a bit too much hate. I actually don't think it's half bad, it's definitely very unique, it matches the theme of the season pretty well, and the music is also solid. When all of these things are combined together, I think you get a very solid intro as a result. Obviously, the season 1 intro is up next, an absolute classic. This intro is amazing because of nostalgia pretty much, I think we all have to admit that, and I think most of us do agree with that statement to an extent. But pushing nostalgia aside, is this intro really anything amazing? Is it worthy of a top 3 position? I really don't think so. I think it's very good in terms of simplicity. It does a good job of showing off the main characters in a very clean, simplistic way, and I have to applaud it for that. Pile that on top of the original Weekend Whip, and the result is a very good intro. I think you just have to love it for that. However, sure, it's simplistic and fun, and obviously very nostalgic, but I still can't help but think that there's definitely better intros out there. Next, we're moving on to some of the really good intros, and what better way to kick off this category than by putting the Season 10 intro right here. Wow, this one did such a fantastic job at going through Ninjago's legacy, which, you know, obviously matched up with the theme at this point. It showcased every event and season that had happened before, and I think this was very suitable, as the whole point of the legacy sets and for season 10 was to give the fans something special to celebrate 10 seasons, and they definitely nailed it with the nostalgic factor here. I don't even think there's much else to cover here, but yeah, they absolutely nailed it with this intro. Love what they did here. This may be surprising to some of you, but yeah, Season 7's intro is up next, and I still remember the first time I ever saw this intro, I fell in love with it immediately. It got me so insanely hyped too. That was one of my fondest memories of Ninjago honestly, but with this one, it's just so unique, it's actually awesome. Down to the actual animation, the music, the lot. It all came together to create a fantastic intro. My favourite part would probably be the fact that it uses all aspects of time. For example, in this intro it gets sped up, slowed down, paused, etc, matching up with the main theme of the season of course. On top of that, the scene that's happening in it. The ninja versus the time twins. It's awesome. And then the music. It's so so weird that I actually love it. It just fits really well and I don't have any complaints with this intro. Very solid stuff. This next one is also going to be surprising to you probably. But the season 5 intro is up next. I know that like everyone has this as their favourite, but to be honest I find it to be slightly overrated if I do say so myself. I don't know, I think it's definitely very good, I don't think you can really deny that, but is it really the best one? I really don't think so. I like the cartoon effect they went for with this one too, I think that was a really awesome touch and it was just something very unique, something very different and I can definitely appreciate it for accomplishing that. Well then, next up is yet another possible unpopular opinion, but to be completely honest here, I just love the Season 4 intro. I do find Season 4 as a season to be quite overrated in some aspects, but I just can't get enough of the intro. The visual side of it may be kind of boring I guess, but it does just work, and it works so perfectly with the theme of the season. This one does however have one tiny downside, and that's the fact that they never updated Zayn in the intro. Even when he was found in the season, they never updated it, which is kind of a shame I guess, but it's not that big of a deal, so I can see past it. But yeah, this intro is just so good, and over the past few months or so, it's really grown on me a lot. And now finally, at the number one spot, my all-time favourite Ninjago intro, the title just has to go to season 6. 
To start us off, the animation is just beautiful. There's no other way of describing it, but it just is fantastic. I do also like how the ninja were all doing something different, and they were in pairs. For example, some were riding dragons, Zayn was sliding down his path made of ice, Wu was on a hot air balloon, etc. It just adds a nice effect to the whole thing, and I can appreciate that. Also, as we cut past the ninja, the sky gets more and more cloudy and gets really dark, until eventually we get to a full storm, and Nadakana then appears on screen in his usual intimidating way. It's just great. All of this on top of the pirate whip, yeah, it's just incredible. Very, very phenomenal stuff here. And so, with this all finally being said, I do believe we've reached the end of today's video. I really do hope you all enjoyed it. I know I certainly did have a lot of fun making it. If you did actually enjoy it, dropping a like would be greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed and are interested in seeing a lot more content just like this one, why not subscribe and turn on post notifications? That way, you'll never be missing out on more videos just like this one ever again. It would seriously mean a lot to me. With all of this finally being said though guys, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next one.